Hi everyone, welcome back to Hope and Coffee. I'm Hope, and yes, coffee is never far away. Don't you worry about it. I am actually reviewing a book called The Hanging City by Charlie N. Holmberg today. And this is a book that I was able to get because I'm an Amazon Prime member and it popped up available on my Kindle. And so I was very excited because Charlie N. Holmberg is an author that I have actually read very prolifically and she writes prolifically so it works out fantastically I think for both of us so um, this particular book is one so one I will tell you a little bit about Charlie in Holmberg she is an award-winning best-selling and internationally published author of fantasy and romance fiction uh, she was raised in a Trekkie, along with three sisters who also have boys' names. She is a proud BYU alumna, plays the ukulele, owns too many pairs of glasses, and finally adopted a dog, and she currently lives with her family in Utah. So she has approximately 39 books under her belt, and I have probably read most of them. Um, I am very much a follow of hers. Now, this particular book is expected to be published September 5th of 2023. I am only going to give a very short blurb because, again, this book was gifted to me as a Kindle. Um, I think it was Kindle Unlimited, um, but also because I'm an Amazon Prime subscriber, so it was kind of given to me as an early release. So I'm very excited about that as well. Um, I will give you a brief synopsis about this book and um, the fact that it does have some very good ratings on Goodreads and Amazon. On Amazon, it has 4.4 stars. On Goodreads, it has 4.3 stars. So those are very good reviews. And you are welcome to go on there and rate and review yourself. Please be kind because sometimes authors do actually take these uh, reviews to um, to heart when they read their books or write their books at least um, I mean I don't know if they really do but I think that I know I write honest reviews whenever I do it but I also do it with the fact that I know a person has written a book um, I don't like the fact that GP chat and all these other things AI um, bots are now writing books that's just not fun However, we will now get to The Hanging City by Charlie in Holmberg. Okay, for a young woman who wields the power of fear, fear, humanity's greatest enemy is her only hope in a new fairy tale adventure by Amazon Charts and Wall Street Journal best-selling author Charlie in Holmberg. Seven years on the run from her abusive father and with no hope of sanctuary among the dwindling pockets of human civilization, Lark is out of options. Her only leverage is a cursed power. She can thrust fear into others, leaving all threats fleeing in terror. It's a means of survival as she searches for a place to call home. If the campfire myths of her childhood are true, Lark's sole chance for refuge could lie in Kagmar, the city of trolls, a brutal species and the sworn enemy of humanity. Valuing combat prowess and the troll high council is intrigued. Lark could be much more useful than the low caste humans who merely labor in Kagmar. Her gift makes her invaluable as a monster slayer to fight off the unspeakable creatures that torment the trolls hanging city suspended from a bridge over an endless dark canyon so I won't read the final chat I won't read the final paragraph you can read that for yourself I just kind of wanted to give you a snippet because of course this is just a preview this book comes out again on September 5th 2023 and there's lots of book details um, but again this book is getting great reviews at least 50% of them are five star and I love that for her um, because again, anytime I see her name pop up, I actively want to search for it, download it, want the arc, all of it. Uh, now her, the first book that I got of Charlie and Holmberg was The Paper Magician and instantly fell in love with it. And I'm not the biggest person on romance, but there's always a little bit of magic, a little bit of supernatural, a little bit of just slightly taboo romance, a little bit of forbidden romance. 
And I kind of love it. So, um, but she's always got fairly powerful, strong female characters. Now, every once in a while, I do find that they're either a little whiny or they're a little secretive or they're just, they're not forthright with their words or their actions or something. Like, they swear that they trust these people wholeheartedly and then never really do with all these sorts of things. And I'm like, if you trust them wholeheartedly, then you either do or you don't. So like, don't be wish-washy, don't be flippant, come on. Like that's, that's like my biggest critique is you either do or you don't, just pick, a, pick something. Like you say you trust them, so trust them. You either, you know, you're either gonna tell them the truth, you're either gonna tell them the whole story or you're not. And so that's probably my biggest uh, argument is for, um, I wish she would stop writing some of those characters, some of her female characters so flippantly because I want them to be strong and decisive and not be so wishy-washy because I feel like that's a female trope that we get so frequently is that we're already seen, females are already seen wishy-washy and flighty and um, that we don't tell the whole truth and that we can't, like, when we can't communicate clearly or that, you know, all that sort of stuff. Like, I feel like that's something that's a stereotype that we get already. So we don't need to see it again and again in literature. So if I were to give a critique, that's probably the critique I would give, is please stop making us wishy-washy. <laughs> uh, because there is a part in this book where the main character kind of flees. Flees a situation, gets away from the situation, is able to relay a piece of information, and now she's escaped, and she's free. But instead of staying free... She returns to a terrible situation knowing that she's going to pretty much be beat and like a dog and it's going to be awful. Um, but she would rather do that? Why? I, I didn't understand. There was no point in that. I didn't see that being the smartest of situations. That was probably my biggest critique. I was like... No, I would just keep moving. Like, I don't, I mean, I don't, I can't imagine that this is Earth. This is not the world that we currently live in. This is not like, of course, we don't have trolls or this expanse to, you know, have to navigate or what have you. But she, I don't know, like, but she returns to this terrible situation that she has just escaped from, that she has just barely survived already and she voluntarily returns and I was very very confused so that was probably my biggest critique I was like er, er. so I do give this book I give it I want to give it four stars even though I do really like it and I want to like I want other people to enjoy it but that, like because I would wish I wish the character was not so wishy-washy and I wish the character was stronger in her um, convictions. Uh, that is probably my biggest critique. So until we meet again, I will see you all on the next page. Bye.